Today I'm reporting about a study where we, for the first time, visualized African elephant vocalizations. African elephants are famous for their very low frequency rumbling vocalizations, which they use in all conceivable contexts. And also very importantly, elephants use these vocalizations for long distance communication. Now we had been interested whether elephants emit these vocalizations through the mouth, the trunk or both in order to get a better understanding of the nature of these important signals. But why is that important? Well, individual and species-specific mechanisms of sound production determine the acoustic output or the characteristics of the acoustic output accessible to the receiver and therefore to natural and sexual selection. And this evolutionary feedback loop makes it necessary to understand sound production mechanisms when studying animal communication. Sound waves generated by the vocal fold vibration in the larynx pass through the vocal tract which contains air in the pharyngeal, oral and nasal cavities, amplifying certain frequencies termed formant frequencies or formants before radiating into the environment. These formant frequencies are determined by the length and the shape of the vocal tract, with longer vocal tracts producing lower, more closely spaced formants. Furthermore, formants are reliable cues to body size due to a close relationship between frequency formant spacing, vocal tract lengths and overall body size. Our results with the acoustic camera indeed now reveal that elephants do produce two distinct types of rumbles discriminated by their vocal paths, nasally and orally emitted rumbles. The first video now demonstrates an elephant producing a nasal rumble during the contact calling context. Now again in the slow motion, you can clearly see that the sound is emitted through the nostrils at the trunk. Now in the second video, we see an elephant producing an oral rumble during a social bonding context. Nasal and oral rumbles varied considerably in the acoustic structure. In particular, the values of the first two formants reflected the estimated length of the vocal pass corresponding to a vocal tract length of around 2 meters for nasal rumbles and around 0.7 meters for oral rumbles. By rumbling through the trunk, elephants thus lower their formants by around threefold. The adaptive significance of these extremely low formants of nasal elephant rumbles are still unknown. Our future research will now have to reveal whether these very low formants reflect sexual selection pressures to sound larger or natural selection pressures to maximize call propagation distances.